Good morning, class. Happy Memorial Day. Professor Wyatt here. I want to thank you all for your video submissions. They have all been graded and sent back to you, so we can now proceed on to assignment number two, which is our speech to inform. I'm going to make a series of short videos for you, each centered on a different element of the speech. So that way, if there's something that you don't understand, you don't have to sit through and look through a long video. We can break it up that way. Uh, so the purpose of this video is to mainly talk about your topic development. Now, I've spoken before about speaking from your heart, about creating and exploring topics that you have a passion for, because that translates into an understanding and an opinion and, uh, and experiences that you can all melt into your speech. There's plenty of room in any speech for storytelling, for giving opinions, for sharing experiences, to use as examples, to push a broader theme. So never hesitate from bringing all of your experiences into every talk that you have. Now, this one is a speech to inform, and I like to say this when people say, what do you want? I always put it this way. Tell me something that I don't know. All right? Bring something interesting to the topic, no matter how mundane it may be or may, you may think it is. Try to find that twist. Try to find the angle that will actually inform me. Because if all you're doing is rehashing stuff that everyone already knows, you're not really informing me. You're just reinforcing old things. For instance, if I said I wanted to do my speech on Hawaii, you know, I, I would not sit there and go on and on about how Hawaii is the 50th state and it's an island and it's tropical and, you know, that's that you're boring people at that point. So you have to give a lot of thought to your topic. Make sure you have that passion for it. And then give it that extra bit of thought about how can I bring something to the table here that will actually inform and educate people instead of just giving them that low-hanging fruit of something that everybody knows. Now this translates into the business world. When you're asked to give a presentation, you know, you're going to have people in the audience who already have a general understanding of what's going on. So you need to get used to finding the things that are different, finding things that stand out, finding things that are interesting so that people can stay engaged and informed. So that's really what I want to say about this speech is... Choose whatever topic you want, but then before you start, I always say think. Think about what you can bring to this topic that will really be interesting and help people get a greater knowledge and an understanding for the topic itself. Uh, your outlines will be due to me on Friday, and as always, your speeches will then be due Sunday night. You have complete freedom to start right away. I already have one outline sitting in my box. So once I look at your outline and grade that and send it back, feel free to proceed on to your speech. And remember what I said. Hit the button and go. Spend your time in preparation. You can have your outline to the side if you want to keep you on track. But... Resist the temptation to write it out because uh, I did see some of this where if you haven't trust yourself enough yet to just hit that button and start speaking. So you look down and you see, oh, point one, yes. Here's what I want to say about that. And this comes from your heart. This is because it's in your heart, it's in your head. So let's get used to using limited notes Use your notes to keep you on track, <clears throat> and then take a nice slow approach and really empty your tank and keep it interesting, okay? You'll be fine.